Welcome to the Operating Systems Revision Podcast. Go, go, go. Batch operating systems are used to run an entire job from start to finish without any user intervention. Batch jobs are controlled by a program written in job control language. Job control language specifies the amount of processing time which should be allocated to each job. Batch operating systems are used to process repetitive tasks, such as in the production of bank statements. Multi-user and batch. Multi-user and batch operating systems can ta- combine the two types of operating system and enable multiple users to operate a computer from their own terminals, and also allow the processing power of computers to be used to perform batch tasks when they are not being used. For example, all of the computers in an office could be used at night to update the company's accounts. Client-server operating systems are used by most network systems. The client-server computing splits the processing between clients and servers. The two different processing machines are both on the network, with the server having the more powerful machine for use of holding programs and files. Clients are loaded onto an operating system which allow them to carry out work on the client machine su- with an operating system such as Windows but with an extension that allows them to request use of a program or file that can only be used on a s- the server machine. An exact description of a client server system is that it is a network organization in which workstations make use of um, the resources available at one or more servers such as a printer or database server. A multi-user operating system allows two or more users to communicate with the computer at any one time. Each user is given a section of the processing time. Each user works at a separate terminal and is given the impression that they have the sole use of the computer. Access denied. Hello and welcome. The single user, single process operating system runs the loading and execution of one program at a time and also the input and output of any peripheral devices connected to it. DOS is an example of a single user, single process operating system. Multitasking operating system. Multitasking operating systems are taken to mean multiprogramming on a single user machine, for example, Windows XP. The user can switch between one program and another. Only one program can actually be executed at any moment, but the user can switch freely between tasks or applications. Real-time operating systems Real-time operating systems must be able to respond quickly to changes in the computer's environment. For example, in aircraft, where changes in wind direction must be dealt with very quickly. In aircraft, there are often three or more computers, programmed by different people, so that any software or hardware errors are not disastrous. Real-time operating systems are safety critical, and therefore must be able to react within a certain amount of time. Often these events happen in parallel, meaning the processor must be able to handle many events at once. Two examples of real-time operating systems are nuclear reactor safety systems and booking systems in theatres. Well done everyone. Good work.